The buzz inside resurrected tattoo and piercing is loud, and that's exactly the point. Absolutely, you want to talk, talk about, about it. Devin? You yeah. want to get it out in the open, people asking more questions about it. The buzz is over this, a tattoo of a semicolon. Donna Carter and her co-workers tattooed semicolons for nine hours Wednesday to go. raise awareness and money for the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline. And do you have one? I do, right here. And so, do, have people asked you about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's kind of a conversation starter. Um, it's a great way to break the ice. Uh, if you're talking to someone new, it kind of creates some common ground. And then it kind of removes the taboo of talking about those mental illnesses. Why the semicolon? Basically, the idea behind it is a semicolon is a part in a sentence that could end but chooses to go on. So it's a metaphor for mental illness and suicide prevention where someone could choose to take their own life but instead chooses to live. Idaho is consistently among the states with the highest suicide rates, 57 percent higher than the national average. But by starting a conversation, providing support, and directing help to those who need it, we can prevent suicides and save lives. You know, and if you're worried about someone, the first thing we always say to do is ask them directly. Say to them, are you thinking about suicide? Lila Stangi with the hotline says asking someone directly if they're thinking about suicide will not put the idea in their head. People are so afraid that if you ask, if you say that word, it'll make someone suicide, but that's not the truth. And people that are struggling they often, they want to talk about it and they're asking for help. They're asking for someone to notice. Talking helped Donna through her suicidal tendencies. Talking to people generally helps to alleviate a lot of the burden and finding that common ground and knowing that you're not alone and that other people do have those thoughts and tendencies. Asking the question, starting a conversation can be uncomfortable, a bit awkward. A few simple words could help. Are you okay? And how are you really? Paying attention and offering a listening ear are the first steps in showing support. Another way to open up the conversation, by explaining behavior changes you've noticed and then expressing genuine concern. Another tip, doing an activity while you talk can take some of the nerves and discomfort out of the conversation. So if I ask somebody who's struggling, are you thinking about suicide, what it tells them is that I'm not afraid to talk about that with them. We try to see, get people to see what they have to live for, because sometimes they can't see it in that moment. To help them see their sentence, their life story can continue.